welcome back to my channel. It's Bree here with another fun box for you. So today we are going to unbox and review Boxy Charm. So excited. Let me just tell you, Boxy Charm is new to me, and I have never seen anybody with boxy charms so this is all a first everything is like literally brand new I did cheat a little I went online and looked at some previous boxes to see what you're really getting in the box and I was literally shook to the core this is incredible full-size products or at least deluxe size I feel they're full size I wouldn't call these deluxe at all so this box is called vacation bay I know vomit right but vacation and let me tell you I am so excited to start this this review and unboxing for you so let's start out with um, this it's by pretty vulgar and it is a blush Check this out. Oh my gosh. It's like a picture frame. And this one's called Make Them Blush number 111 Prim Vixen. Look at this. Look at this color. Holy cow. Right? Pink, pink, pink. So pretty. I just love this. And when you... It's so smooth. It literally is so smooth. It's like silk. It's incredible. Boom. Very, very pigmented. I didn't get any, there's no like fallout on there when I rubbed it. Sometimes on like these with the eyeshadows, I'll do this to swatch it and it's like, yeet. A little bit of crumbly crumbly, but not this. This is, this is awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it. It seems a little bit pink for my skin, but I think that if you blend it right, I think it'll look great. So, from fair skin, I usually use like a bronzy or like a peachy kind of color on my face. I have a lot of red tones to my skin. So pink is, is like danger zone for me, but I don't know, we'll see. So, um, and I've never heard of this uh, pretty vulgar line of makeup before, so, this is all all new to me. Anyway, next up is now as you all know, or if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you that I love getting brushes. So boop boop boop. Ha ha! No, you don't get one, you get three brushes. Three brushes. And this is by the Vintage Cosmetics. Vintage Cosmetics Company. And this is a smoky eye brush set. La 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 la. Step one, it says on this brush. Ooh, nice. So this one is step one. I think that's a little funny that it's telling you what steps to use. Step two brush. And then step, yep, step three brush. It almost looks like brush one and two are the same. So let's look. Oh no, they're not the same. We've got an angled, angled brush, and then a light fluffy brush, slightly angled, smaller. And then a very small shading brush. So, yay! And I'm not sure, it doesn't feel, it feels like they are synthetic. Um, I don't know, it feels like they're synthetic. So I hope that they're, let's see if this isn't on here. Well, oh, it is. Take care when using near the eye, brushes have Synthetic bristles. Yeah, I guess they don't want you to stab yourself in the eye. Be careful. Obviously, I think, isn't that just like a given? 
to be careful? I don't know. I'm always careful. Well, not always. Not always careful. I've, I've actually stabbed myself in the eye a couple of times, but oh well, it's okay. So, next, next. Okay, so we've got the brushes, we got the blush. Next, we have Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and it's mascara, volumizing mascara. Um, anybody who has, like myself, has like thin hair strands, like super thin eyebrows, super thin eyelashes, or anybody that has like, feels like very sparse eyelashes, nothing really there. Um, you always want to go for these volumizing mascaras and you always want to go with a black. Um, I know it seems like, ooh, it's fun, let's use a natural color or let's do something funky. This actually can make your eyelashes look even less sparse. So when you're using a dark or a black mascara, it, it fills it all in and it like, I don't know if you could see my eyelashes because I can't see myself. Um, so. Mine are super thin, but I use a volumizing mascara. I actually use two different ones. I use the, um, I use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and then I use Marc Jacobs to go over top of it, um, which has a more spread out bristle, so it actually will spread the lashes as the other one um, kind of makes it thicker at the base. So it it appears that you have more eyelashes than you actually do. So this, well, okay, so it's a really small um, spoolie, small bristle, small spoolie, just kind of seems like a general spoolie. I like ones that are longer and I like the ones that are more spread apart, but I don't know. I haven't tried it, so I can't say whether it's good or not. Um, if anybody has tried the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara and you like it or have had any kind of experiences with it and you want to share, leave a comment below. No, 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 no. Anyway. So, next. And now I'm excited because I have seen these all over the internet. I have seen people doing reviews on these and I have never tried them. So I am excited to try South Main 3 Eye Gel Packs. And they're the little gel packs. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip you off. The gel packs for under eye to help with puffiness. Um, reduce dark circles, moisturizes the eye area. And it has instructions on the back to thoroughly cleanse the eye area. They're, let's see, they're 30 minute masks. And it says use promptly after opening for best results. Use three, use uh, for three consecutive days. So I guess you want to use them up, I guess, quickly. Yay! So I guess uh, I'll try them tonight, and I will leave my review on my Instagram. So anybody wants to follow me on my Instagram, um, you'll see some reviews on some of these products. I'm going to do some swatches, and those will also be on my Instagram. So anything that you've seen in my Ipsy, my Birch Box, Boxy Charm, Sephora Play, any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to work on doing, getting swatches down and putting them out on my Instagram so everybody can see um, what those colors and palettes might look like. So speaking of palettes, this literally made me like go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because I go crazy for like eyeshadow palettes and I got this and I said well what is this I don't know what this is so then I opened it but I haven't opened it opened it I opened it and saw that it is pure eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna open it right now 
And the nice thing about Pure, okay, and the brand Pure anyway, they're cruelty free, they're gluten free, they're talc free, and they're vegan friendly. So I think that's great. I, I really do. There's people out there that really want to look their best and some people won't use a product because it's not vegan or or whatnot. And I, I'm kind of the same way. Any kind of animal testing, anything like that with makeup, I'm really not for. It really bothers me and it's just not for me. So um, I'm an animal lover. So <laughs> I like to try to keep everything 100% cruelty free. Oh, look at this. Look at here, look at here. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Huh. Look at those colors. Look at that shimmer. So we got shimmers. We got mattes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yay. And it's got a nice big mirror in the lid. So, but I'm not going to show you because then you'll just see my recording device in the mirror. You may already have. I don't know. So that is my last sample in my BoxyCharm box. And it says that this palette here, if I was to go and buy just this palette, this runs for 36 bucks. Now remember, you're paying $21 a month for BoxyCharm for full-size products. And let's see. $36 for the eyeshadow palette, um, $20 for the mascara, $10 for the eye gels, uh, let's see, what does it say, $23.15 for that makeup brush kit, and everybody knows that brushes are always super expensive, Morphe, Sigma, stuff like that, although those are more affordable brushes, it doesn't matter, like brushes run anywhere from like $10 to $50 for a single brush. Um, so that's, you're getting a deal right there. And then the blush, um, the pretty boulder brush, blush, burp, 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 is um, 26 bucks for this. So anyway, you're getting a really good deal. I know that $20 seems kind of a bit much for a subscription box, but when you look at the products that you're getting, the quality of the products that you're getting, and the full size products that you're getting, you're really getting a good deal. So I'm all for it. Go BoxyCharm. Oh. Anyway, this concludes my BoxyCharm review, reveal somewhat thing happening situation. Anyway, Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in, and I really appreciate your loyalty. I really appreciate the followers, the shares, the likes. So if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel, please, yeah. I would really appreciate it. I really, really do. Thank you, and see ya. Ooh, 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 ooh.